Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another GYR FM Tactical Masterclass. This is a shape that has actually been very highly requested. It is a diamond. A defensive midfielder, two in the middle, a central attacking midfielder, and two main strikers up top. This tactic has absolutely blitzed things in our testing. So let's dive in and take a look at this shape. So first and foremost, guys, this is the diamond shape that we are talking. This is GYR's Diamond Giza. Yeah, a big fan of this name, actually. And you've got the two bad boy Brazilians up top in Gabriel Jesus and Martinelli in this particular test that we've done with Arsenal. Now, I'll come back to this one with Arsenal. We always test things with a top-tier team anyway. But we have done other tests uh, with this particular tactic. Roma have actually gone on to win a historic treble. They won the league actually via a playoff match, which is absolutely ludicrous. They finished on the same amount of points as Napoli, but won the playoff game on penalties. So fair play, Roma. They also won the Europa League and the Italian Cup as well. Smashed it. We also tried it with Bournemouth. Now, Bournemouth is a very spectacular test because they actually managed to finish inside the top four with this tactic. Absolutely ravaged the league and got themselves up into the top four, which if you look at Bournemouth squad, it's not a top four squad. In terms of this test with Arsenal, things have gone pretty well as well. 41 goals for Gabriel Jesus. No knee injury for him in this particular simulation. And Martinelli up top as well also chipped in with 29. 13 for Martin Odegaard. We've also got 10 for Eddie and Ketia. Uh, and Nicolas Pepe scored 13, but he is out on loan. Um, so ultimately, this is how the Arsenal team looks. And in this particular test, we have a Premier League title for Arsenal alongside a FA Cup. Okay, things didn't necessarily go their way in the Euro Europa League, they were knocked out in the quarterfinals by Manchester United, um, but they were also knocked out in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. Unfortunately, that was by Tottenham. But a league and FA Cup double for Arsenal, not necessarily the best squad in FM23. Obviously, they are top of the Premier League right now, but they've absolutely smashed it here. In terms of that Emirates FA Cup final, they did beat Manchester City three goals to two, so they've done very, very well there. Uh, Gabriel Jesus getting that 90th minute winner against his former club um in terms of the premier league though if we expand the premier league table you can see here if we fully expand it there we go 28 victories for arsenal seven draws three losses 93 goals scored just the 20 goals conceded as well absolutely smashed it they beat liverpool by a point uh in terms of that league title race as i said absolutely crushing it some very very nice victories along the route as well um if we go and take a look at some of the stats you guys have requested the stats of these some of these tests so here they are for you right now um it is the highest goal scoring tactic in the league it scored 93 goals uh liverpool got 90 they were the team in second 88 for manchester city in terms of shots liverpool were the top alongside man city uh, arsenal in this instance did finish inside third place uh, 21 clean sheets which is the highest 24 liverpool uh, uh, but Arsenal also did concede the least as well. 20 goals conceded. The next best was Liverpool uh, with 27. Um, absolutely crushed it, I think, if you look at this. And obviously, by winning the league, by virtue of that, they had the highest points per game as well. If we dive into the data hub, you can see some of the analytics here. We pull up the general performance so you can see it. Goals per game, 2.4 goals per game, expected 2.07. So still over that two goal a game threshold. Um, they were expected to concede 1.07 goals and they have conceded a lot less than that. Arsenal's defense is okay. You can definitely find better defences. I think if we tested this with Liverpool, uh, I know they're not doing really well in real life. Uh, things will be off the charts. Same with Manchester City as well. So there are definitely better defences out there. And this one's done really, really well. The stat that I love the most, high pass completion rate, um, 85.63% for that one. And also the shots on target ratio, 43%. Like that is amazing. 43% of the shots that this, this tactic is creating are going on target, which in this year's game, I don't know about you guys. I definitely have scenarios and situations in games where I'm having 10, 15 shots a game and not hitting the target anywhere near as much as that using my own tactics. So definitely one for you guys to pay, uh, pay attention to. So this is the tactic. We're going to break it down right now. But before we do, guys, please do go and check out GYR. I will leave links to him in the description so that you can go and check out GYR. He's back streaming on Twitch as well now. Um, so please do go and drop him a follow over there. This is his Diamond Giza tactic. Um, so if we reveal the roles, we've already got the players lined up so you can kind of see who fits in where. 
Starting off in goal, we have Aaron Ramsdale. He is the sweeper keeper on defensive duty. So you set that one up there. And he has the additional instructions, guys, of take fewer risks and ease off tackles. So the ones that are additional instructions are the ones with the white cog and the red circle. And you just find those by hitting the edit button. And ease off tackles is the selected one here, as is take fewer risks. You know what they are selected by the fact that they have a green outline on them. Moving into the defense, we have a wing back on attack duty here on the right hand side. This is obviously Tommy Asu in this particular instance. He has the additional instructions of sit uh, narrower, shoot less often and tackle harder on him. On the left hand side, potentially a little bit of a waste with Arsenal, but Bakayo Saka is the left back here. He is a wing back on support. He has shoot less often, sit narrower and tackle harder added to him. The two centre backs in this instance are Ben White and Gabriel. They are both central defenders on defensive duty with the additional instruction of stay wider moving into the midfield we have a deep line playmaker on defensive duty believe it or not granite jack is actually really really good at this um actually sits in the hole and is able to spray the passes no additional instructions on him Moving into the midfield, we have a box-to-box -box midfielder, which in this instance is Thomas Partey on support duty. He has the additional instructions of run wide with the ball and tackle harder on him. And then everyone's favorite role in FM23 this year, the Roman playmaker on support in midfield with the additional instructions of run wide with the ball, move into the channels and tackle harder. Who'd have thought Zinchenko is actually being able to play in the field in this particular tactic into the three up top now This is Arsenal's best player in my opinion Martin Odegaard. He is a shadow striker on attack duty No additional instructions on him. Just let him cook if we go on Odegaard I just need to go on Odegaard for a second He has 13 goals 15 assists from that central attack and midfield position It's what you want to see and Odegaard will just get better and better in this tactic as well Then moving up top. We've got the dual attack uh, advanced forwards should i say on support uh, on attack duty god i can't get my words out today with the additional instructions to dribble more shoot more and tackle harder i love the two af so that's what i'm playing in my network game with lazio as well chiro mobile very good in this role as well the tactical setup then let's move across into the left hand portion of the screen we have the custom gyr test attack um this is all set up by the main man himself uh you guys if you hit clean slate or gagan press or whatever it doesn't really matter just follow the instructions about the tactical style and we will be up and running for you in no time at all the mentality is a positive mentality and in possession this is how we are looking guys we are fairly wide in terms of our attacking width we are passing into space we are playing out of defense as well we are slightly shorter in terms of our passing directness and we are playing at a higher tempo we're hitting those low crosses into the final third and we are also running at the defense and being more expressive in terms of in transition guys this is how we are looking we are counter pressing when we have uh, lost possession we're also countering once we've won possession and in terms of our distribution type it is taking short kicks in terms of when your goalkeeper is in possession out of possession though this is how we are looking we are hitting them with that high press that high line of engagement with a higher defensive line it seems like the only thing that does work effectively on a consistent basis in fm23 we are triggering that press much more often and preventing that short goalkeeper distribution and our tackling guys we are getting ourselves stuck in um i will say with the tactical familiarity guys it is very important things don't happen overnight um so please do bear in mind if you ins insert this tactic into your save give it some time to bed in ideally give it a full pre-season and then run a full season and let us know how you do get on if you do like the tactics on the channel guys please do let me know by dropping a like on today's video and consider hitting that subscribe button if you are here for the very first time picking up a very first tactic off of my channel um but until next time guys if you do like the tactics check out this video or this playlist rather it's all of the tactics that the amazing gyr has released on this year's game so far